Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm going to start off with the uh, good old dollar. Uh, tomorrow is the monthly close of April, so uh, just going to go over these monthlies a little bit. Probably rehash them tomorrow, but um, what a good day for everybody, I hope. Um, dollar sentiment uh, from the FOMC meeting was just bogus. Everything turned around, and um, gold and silver took off. So, pretty cool. Um, here's the dollar getting um, on its lows, and I just want to point out it's still hanging in there uh, until I'm going to say this previous low here, which is 93.40, and I mean, it's pretty close to it. It's only got four previous lows to go through. And today, as everyone probably saw, it broke down through its trend line. And it is closing near its lows on the daily. So, down almost uh, 1%, or 0.7%. Um, pretty nasty ride after uh, 9340, but it pretty much decisively broke through that, closing on its lows today. So look for more bearishness on that one. You might see some bearish retracements, but uh, I think um, for now, I think we already went through that. See, um, we broke down. There's the bearish retracement. Broke down, bearish retracement, broke down, bearish retracement. And here we go again. So, something to keep your eye on. Uh, where are we going to go? Let's see, looks like a right around 90, if it can hold 90. Otherwise, it's going to break 90 and go through. Shoot. Here's a meeting line here on a monthly, so let's call it 91. Bump and run at 91. Uh, it's definitely got to break 50% of this candle, which is uh, 92.50. We've got support at 91. If it breaks that, hell, I don't know. I hate to think it's going to go all the way to 83.5. That would be terrible. Anyway, something to watch. Uh, definitely bearish. S&P. Here's a monthly. Um, it um, so far is whips on. Uh, we got a wick above, and it got pushed back pretty hard. Uh, on a weekly. Broke down. So, a little whipsaw com coming our way. Uh, uh, daily. Um, I can't get these trend lines to stay in place. Anyways, looks like on a daily it kind of bounced at the end there. But um, that's our bearish retracement. So we uh, did a lower high um, above the trend line. The support uh, did not hold, and it broke down. And then at the end of the day, I think it was just a, a retracement. So look for a retracement back to the trend line, and then uh, that's your best bet to go short. So look for um, reversal bars on like a 15-minute uh, uh, when it gets up to into um, into that trend line. So something to watch. Uh, Dow Jones. Here's a monthly. Uh, it hasn't. Um, it looks like it's bullish retracing on the on the Dow. So 
maybe we'll see this come out uh, tomorrow, but um, right now uh, the 8 is crossed over the 13, and this did not break down. It is holding its own. So look at a monthly. It was down 200 points on the close, so not, definitely not a good day. Um, so look, um, here's a bullish retracement as the 8 is crossing the trend line. Um, so there you go. It looks bullish because uh, we broke above the trend line, bullish retraced, boom. Now it's doing a, a longer retrace as the 8's coming across. So stay above the 8. Um, and it, you're still bullish, so it might be just another bullish retracement here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, hopefully not, because um, these markets have to correct sometime. It's just ridiculous. The longer they prop it up, the bigger the bust. Um, here's the um, Nikkei, or no, the uh, USD forex and japan yen here's a monthly chart it's definitely breaking down on the monthly trend so um again look for a bearish retracement back to the trend and take your shorts and then check your shorts but then um where is it um this is a pretty drastic drop today that was pretty bad um, I guess the word is that um, they were uh, the market was looking for stimulus and they decided not to stimulate and stimulate uh, today so they had faked all the traders and then all of a sudden it just dropped like a hat um, closing on its lows um, I was trying to watch it go through its last line of defense um there but it bounced so maybe it's just a huge old head fake uh i don't know we'll see what happens uh tomorrow is one more day for the month and um it looks like to be uh, bouncing here so see what happens see how fast the bounce is dead cat bounce you know does one of these uh you know, next to next to nothing bounce like right right there, 108, and then just crashes again. We'll see what happens. A uh, little dead cat bounce. That's what that would be. Um, or no bounce at all. Let's see what happens. Uh, crude kind of got knocked back a little bit, but here's the monthly. You see that nice double bottom, long legged doji. Um, there's a hammer over here so that hammer failed but here's uh, almost a hammer here well I guess it could be almost yeah I guess you can construe that as a hammer except for the wick and the longer body but the uh, the wick above is not supposed to be there uh, but nonetheless you got a double bottom here and you got this reversal bar doji indecision it opened up the next month and then shot so here's our resistance into previous lows on a monthly let's see if we can get the 50 consolidate and move higher um, uh, 50 will get you 60 so natural course is 70 uh, but it might take a few months so as this comes down and um, matches it and probably get a extension bar hitting it at 65 or so uh, but I got a few months left a few months to, to look forward on this a lot of work to do on crude on a monthly is is the point of the story um, but it's looking good on a weekly it's changing trend on a weekly yeah there's that double bottom went above bullish retraced and popped um, I'm, I'm thinking 50 
uh, to 55. Right, right in there. Um, because of this triple top and this top here. So in between those tops. Let's see if we can get up there. Um, now for the good stuff. Gold. It closed kind of weird. Here's a five hour chart. Um, kind of lost its gas there. But um, on a five hour chart, that's a um, falling star. So maybe a bullish retracement on gold. Hopefully we can hold the gains for the month. We got one more day. Um, see how high the volume is. Maybe a down day on low volume. That would be a good bullish retracement um, uh, signal. Uh, there you go, the breakout. Pretty nice, pretty sweet. Just textbook right there. Um, couldn't get any better than that. It's in the pattern. In the pattern. Boom, boom, boom. Pops out. Boom. There's your pullback right there. Huge bullish retracement. Pull back back into the charts. Grab support and just took off. Thing is, this stuff is happening in the middle of the night when no one can do anything about it. So in the morning, everything gaps up and you're like missing everything. Totally sucks. So hopefully that stuff's going to stop. Um, these people are just taking advantage. Um, well, let, wait. Um, gold on a weekly. There you go. We're, we're closing above 1260. 1260 is where we wanted to be. Closed above it today. See if we can hold it. 1280 is the breakout. But su good support at 1260, which is that first high. So we got knocked back here, pulled back. Uh, we're trying to get over a double top and then another double top. So see what happens. We've got one more day in the month, and the month is looking awesome. We are going to get this thing breaking out. Look at that bearish retracement on a monthly chart. This thing's going to move. This thing is not going to slow down. This is going to be a huge pop. All right, so here's a, let me see, uh, 10, I don't have a, yeah, I got to, hang on. Let me do a measured move. All right, so quick math. I got 1045 and that's 12, 1260, right? I'm going to take that. The distance is two, approximately 215 points. I'm going to take that distance from here. We're looking at 1475 for a measured move. Right, right there. All right, so 1475. Let's see where the resistance is on the monthly. Oh, I gotta get rid of these. Hang on. So, right. Right there, previous lows. See those previous lows, double bottom? There we go. It's like clockwork. See if we can get a goal on gold in the next, let's say, uh, there's going to be some powerful moves here. I, got, I don't know. Um, and summer's coming too. Um, uh, it's hard to tell. I don't have time frames for Fibonacci's. So, let's just take a gander, a good guesstimation. I would say 14 easy before the summer. Reaching the highs of the first wave, I would say... Yeah, that's hard to say. The fall, I guess, by the fall. So what is that, six months? 
right? Let's call it five to six months. Hitting, hitting these previous lows, which kind of dangerous to say because that's the, it's an election year too. So, um, never know. If the market tanks, then yes, we'll get there before that. I think. So there you go. Measured move to fifteen hundred and seventy-five, and which is these previous lows hitting these previous lows, knocking in almost into previous lows, actually matching this top of the trend. So there you go. Measured move, just like clockwork. See if it happens. And uh, just market calendars, five to six months, and then. 14 by the summer sometime in the summer I mean this thing's gonna pop right I mean 1050 to 1260 to 275 points almost I think 214 points so just a good guesstimation using the the low I'm using the high of the first uh, before the bullish retracement. So I'm just taking those those two points, getting the, the spread, and then taking the top 1260 and adding 215 points is 1475. Oh, so I, I uh, forgot. For, I mis miscalculated. 1475. I think we can do that by the summer. Measured move. If the market tanks, we'll definitely get there. But here's the previous lows. So, odds are we're going to get to the previous lows. Which is the top of that 34. Alright, so. Might take a while. But uh, we got some, maybe some um, bullish retracements on a monthly chart. Well, you know, breakout and then bullish retrace it's definitely hitting 13 uh, it's just gonna go to 14 real easy I mean there's 1333 to 1428 that's gonna be a little hard to get through right there but um, these previous lows right here is the measured move I guess and then if we get a spike we can get into the 15 range so something to look forward to. Uh, I screwed up the math on the first. Uh, I thought it was 1575, but it was 14. 1475, right there, right where these two bodies are matched. Let's see if we can get there by this by the summer. Cool, cool. All right, uh, silver. As we spoke, we had this long trend line. It broke out finally uh, with this nice, amazing three bar pattern. Um, breaking above, bullish retraced very hard. Closed above the eight, did it again on a five hour chart and just steadily, steadily, steadily and pop. And right now we're trying to get above this previous high and it, um, it's, it got knocked back. But um, what a great move. Looks great. Um, look for a continuation. That's a badass. Um, great day. Uh, here's a weekly. You can see the head and shoulders break. Reverse head and shoulders, right there. Bullish retrace, bullish retrace, and then the 16 pop. Boom. Awesome. Uh, monthly. I think we're breaking trend here pretty shortly. Um, so we're getting knocked back a little bit. But look the prices to go to 1850 like we planned. And it's a straight shot. There's 
it's a it's a good chance we'll get there real fast. I mean, that's another dollar. Yeah, silver can do that in an hour. It's awesome. Uh, so where are we gonna go? Uh, 1850. That's where we want to be. If we can get above 1850, we'll see 24, um, 26. I think 20 is going to be a hard one. All up in here. 1850 to 20 is going to be real hard. So something to look forward to. Uh, I hate to do, it's not breaking trend yet, so I'd hate to do any kind of projection um, as, as to time. Not like gold. Gold broke and is changing trend. And it's breaking on a monthly chart. This is just popping. So it's lagging. And so what I need silver to do is to pop, maybe hit 20, and uh, bullish retrace, get, get its legs for a month or so, and then pop like gold is. Uh, GDX. Great great stuff to watch and definitely a uh, monthly changing trend no, that's a monthly chart Let's see we got one more day one more day Let's see where this goes uh, but you can see the move on a weekly and then a flat top break right there boom um, it just keeps moving I can't believe it daily all right, so you see the hammer definitely knocking out a bottom and right over support, and then you take it gapped right at the flat top break, the double top there. So, boom. Pretty nice if you caught that. Uh, GDXJ, same thing. Here's monthly changing trend. Pretty nice. Um, these things are moving really nicely. Ultimate goal on this is in and around 70. Uh, we got um, resistance at 60 and a double top right there. See if we can get the 50 on this thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can get the 50. This double top right here. Into previous lows, 45 to 50. That's the mark. First, uh, first goal. Um, never miss the bullish retracements by into support. Uh, this thing's definitely changing trend. So far, we're closing at its high on a monthly. So see where we close out. But um, great day, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And um, appreciate all your support, comments. Um, great day. Uh, there's not no uh, other way to put it. Um, keep your eye on the ball. See ya.